With the investigation into an officer involved shooting that left a four year old dead now closed, his family is still demanding accountability. Four year old Tyrell Miller was killed when police shot a suspect holding that child at knife point. This happened in Macomb in March. And with the officer not facing any charges, the boy's mother says she is looking at her options. And her attorney explains she does not agree that officers involved followed the guidelines when using deadly force. We do not believe it was the correct decision. And uh, if Terrell is ever going to have justice, I mean, he's, there's only a few ways we can do it. And that's for the officer to be criminally charged, for him to lose his job, and we will be pursuing remedies in civil court. The family's attorney says while a civil suit may not carry any criminal charges, it would allow the family some recovery, at least financially. Continuing coverage now, we're digging into the criminal history of the man accused of taking a four-year-old hostage, ending in an officer-involved shooting. Macomb police shot and killed Anthony George and Terrell Miller in March. Officers were called to the scene for a domestic disturbance. It ended with a woman being stabbed and George and Miller dead. Anthony George wasn't a stranger to law enforcement. In fact, he was convicted of murder in 1995. Our Mackenzie Laporte breaks down his criminal history. We looked into the criminal record of Anthony T. George, the 57 year old man that was seen in the body camera footage from the domestic violence call and have found multiple criminal cases against George dating back to the 90s. On September 12th in 1995, George pled guilty to murder with the intent to kill, waiving his rights to a jury trial. Then on June 18th, 2004, he pled guilty to a misdemeanor domestic violence charge. On March 8th, 2010, he was found guilty of driving with a revoked license. And on February 10th, 2017, he was found guilty of residential robbery. Recently, as of November 15th, 2023, George pleaded guilty in McDonough County to domestic battery and spent 35 days in jail. Tuesday, we obtained the toxicology report from the McDonough County coroner Eric Jameson, and in that report, they found nicotine THC and of blood alcohol concentration of 0.18. We have continued to reach out to the Macomb Police Chief and Illinois State Police to answer questions to get more details of the March shooting, and we'll bring you that information as it becomes available. Reporting in studio, I'm Mackenzie Laporte. Now back to you. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.